fact, can we drink from this? I'm sure we can. I think you can drink from rivers. Let's try not to get myself soaked. Yes, awesome. Right, okay, so admittedly, we got completely soaked by doing that. But we are now fully hydrated and our player is now healthy. Which which is good. That's what we wanted. Right, so I need to just try and get up this hill a bit further to see whereabouts we are. Shit, the airfield is practically right there. Got some sunflowers here. Or at least I think that's what they are. Yep, there's a lot of players in the server. The server is very populated. So we should be wary for players. Got no doubt there will be a player up here. Because we are coming from the south side, I think we might just be alright to use use these trees as some coverage and just run straight up to the back of that prison building. I mean, I know the tactical idea should have been to flank and check it out, but in all fairness, if I do spot a player, what on earth am I going to do with a pistol? Like, there's no way I'm going to take him out at like 400 meters. I mean, I know this pistol is it's a, it's a nice weapon and all that. That's a sight. Look at that, that's cool. Sun looks so nice on this. Is there a break in a fence? Yeah, just ahead of us. Downstairs is all clear. So is the top floor. Awesome. Get a little look outside. Can't see anyone majorly close. But in all fairness, didn't really get a good look. Alright, let's take these military boots. swap them out and they're black which is you know sticking to our awesome theme we've got going on oh awesome we've got some stuff here we've got a med kit which in fact looks like players had this uh, it looks like it's been rummaged around and uh, we don't need a fire extinguisher or a sickle I want to find some ammunition for this blaze right yo so the server did just decide to restart on us which is rather inconvenient, but I've logged back in. Uh, it's not always the worst thing because it does mean that the loot should respawn. And right now, that is a rather large benefit considering that we're here. I think it's a bit decent because none of the doors are opening as of yet. So we're actually kind of stuck in here. Oh, hunting backpack up there. Floating loot, pistols, the lot. P1 pistol. Oh my goodness, so it's a double action, single action trigger, oh ok, um, we'll grab it because it sounds awesome and we'll read the description of it at some point. We got some food, some more spaghetti, we seem to be living off spaghetti, I'm going to try and get that bag, yes, awesome, right, if we chuck everything over. Boom, wicked, okay, we've got a hunting backpack, it's looking a bit better now. Oh, we've got ourselves some Pepsi. Or some cola, in fact, I think that was classic cola. 
Ooh, a jacket, they do look cool. But I'm afraid we're still going to stick to the theme we're going with. So I guess this is the sort of loot we should have expected when we actually got here the first time round. So I did just find a weapon cleaning kit, but turns out both my weapons are in pristine condition. Uh, it's not the worst thing, but it means we can't use it, so it's fine. We will leave it here. Alright, it's time to move out. Shit, we got some zombies who do not want to cause any aggro. So what's he gone and done? He's caused aggro, hasn't he? Move little fella. Oh, I haven't even got a melee weapon. I'm gonna have to shoot. Hopefully, no one is around. Is that that's a player? Or is that a zombie? Nope, it's definitely a player. Well. This could get interesting real quick. I see him. Hear him. Hey man, you friendly? Hey buddy. Get a sort of feeling that was a different guy that I saw earlier. Maybe he was a decoy. I swear the other guy only had a weapon on his back. Wouldn't have been so hostile otherwise. Nope, looks like the same guy if you ask me. So, we're fighting over the loot and he doesn't speak. But it feels wrong to kill him. But at the same point, what we're going to do is taking all, talk, taking all my stuff. It's not cool, man. I mean, I know you need to share in times like this. Sorry, he seems quite scared of me, he's gone. As long as he doesn't manage to find a weapon whilst we're here and pick one up and turn on me. Uh, we shouldn't have any problems. So he could have quite well come from here because we saw him sprinting down the airstrip like a lunatic. We'll literally quickly check this building here. And then we'll be on our way. So I think from here... Uh, oh yeah, I know exactly where we could go. I see a uh, ammunition under there. Was it 7.62 times? No, nope, different ammunition, damn it. Oh shit, he's got a life at me. What's up, mate? What's up? Hey man, how's it going? How's it going, buddy? Okay, 
so it seems to be slight slightly off his head bit of a lunatic I would say what pilot's helmet ah huh. that looks cool on the floor if I'm honest aha hang on is this another snap loader no it's not I think we've lost our motorcycle helmet it's no good not happy about that one it's been a long way the motorcycle helmet has see there again what's he doing what's his problem Oh jeez, he's trying to... that's it. Are you for real? Alright, this guy, he's a... he's getting it. <sighs> I knew it, this was gonna happen. I've had to sacrifice my own motorcycle helmet for this. But, you know... Just had to they want it to come this way. He has no pulse and he's warm to touch, so I think we've I think he's dead. I didn't want it to end this way, man, but you know. He only went and turned on me. I knew that was gonna happen. Just knew it. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's got much we can use. See what I mean? That when you kill someone practically does ruin everything so he didn't even have that much gear on him what a waste of two shots but just to make sure he is well uh just finish him off there a double tap rule uh you know there definitely isn't anything we want we'll take the nine mil rounds because they might go into the yes they went into the p1 awesome and then it will hide his body what an idiot. He tried taking me on. He didn't know what he was going up against, did he? He really didn't. I mean, I tried to be friendly to him. But he wasn't having any of it. Alright, let's move out. I'm not liking this place. Although he has seemed to... He's damaged my trench coat, hasn't he? Looks all weathered now and worn. Not happy about that one. He's not happy whatsoever. So it's a bit of a ballsy move, but we're literally going to sprint across the airfield. Because I don't fancy running around. And I'm pretty sure I've taken out any of the competition around here. What on earth is a guy like that who's completely unarmed doing up here though? That's what I want to know.